Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Good morning. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Good morning. Hi, Sue. Hi, Regine. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Ronnie. Yay. <laughs> hello, Dragonfly, Dragonfly Junction from Canada. Hello. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Tracy. Good morning, doll face. Okay, so really quickly, where am I today? I am all over the place. Decoupage and mixed media. So if you are in the decoupage and mixed media inspirations group, I am going to throw a link in here for you. If you could please just do me a favor and authorize... Um, StreamYard to tell me who your name because right now all I see is Facebook user. So I am going to drop in a link. They do not spam or post on your wall, anything like that. Um, it just helps me because um, the, this one, good morning, doll face. Is that you, Dina? Um, it just says Facebook user. So hi, Robbie. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Rima. Hi, Janine. Hi, Tammy. Good morning, Lori, Leona. Hello, Sandra. Ripping apart your dining room. Good goodness gracious, Angel. <laughs> good morning, Lynn. See, I have another Facebook user, so good morning. Oh, it's Denise. Good morning, good morning. Yes, so it's 9 o'clock in the morning here. I am in. I knew it was Dina. I knew it was you, doll face, cutie patootie. Um. It, I'm in California. My name is Terry Lightsey. For those of you who do not know me, um, so yeah, I'm in California. It's 9 a.m. here in California. Um, but this is the Pintart 101. This is what Teresa usually does. Um, last weekend, um, Nancy filled in for her. And this weekend, I'm filling in for her because she is on spring break. Um, hopefully, it looks like she's having an amazing time. So much, you know, much deserved her and her family. So hi, Helena. Hi, Levada. Levada. Hi, Levada. Hi, Helena. Hello, Miss Edie. Alrighty. So today, oh, Julie. Hi, Julie. <laughs> okay. So today uh, for Pintart 101 today, what we're going to go over is the dipping paint. So Pintart dipping paint. And we are also going to go over chrome powders, so how they work together hand in hand. Um, so I am going to put my desk on the screen. For those of you who um, maybe, well, you guys watch Teresa, so you guys know we're in landscape mode. So if you're wondering why we're tiny, we're in landscape mode. So um, just, you know, in case you want to turn your screen. Yes, I can see you now, Dina. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, so whoops. Okay, I'm not I'm not on my setup, so give me just a second. Okay, so what we're gonna go over today is if you guys are not familiar, these are chrome powders. These a million a million amazing little containers hold some beautiful colors. Um, so these are chrome powders, okay? We have 13 different colors. Um, three of them are chameleons, um, but we I will go through today and show you what all the colors look like. Hi, Diane Dunkelman. Um, and then this is the um, Pintart dipping paint. I've had a bunch of questions before. Yes, it only comes in black, okay? So that royal court thing is right over my face. <laughs> Hold on a minute. There we go. <laughs> so um, it only comes in paint, uh, black, okay? Um, you will see me use it out of this container. I have just the, um, can't, I put it in a bigger um, plastic container because when you do dip it, um, some of the things that I dip, you know, need a little bit bigger opening. So that's what this is. It's the same thing. It's just the dipping paint. Okay. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Joy. Hi, Gail. Hello. Hello. All right. So 
I just um, will tell you what you need for this whole little system to work, okay? So you're going to want your dipping paint, you want your chrome powders, and you also, very important part, is you do need the wax paste transparent, okay? Um, so this is what's going to be your bonding agent, if you will. Um, so you do need um, the transparent wax, okay? Hi, Jackie Bates. And then what I also um, use, I get these from Amazon. So you guys remember the old makeup brushes, um, the old in your eyeshadow, those sponges, the sponge that everybody just used to toss away. Um, you want something similar to that type of applicator. Okay, so I get these on Amazon. It's a variety pack. Um, and you can see it comes in a ton of different, you know, sizes. Um, and I, this is what I've used. Um, I also do have the little, um, like the little sponge applicators. That works well too if you get that. But you just need something like that. Um, I find that's what works best, okay? I've just poured some general molds. These are IOD molds. Um, Anyways, I just poured a couple uh, IOD molds in black resin. All right, so we have, you know, a couple of bugs here. Um, these were from the new IOD release. Um, you can ooh, you can use this, you know, with black or white. And then this is the LeBlanc frames and pendants mold. So um, I'll show you black and white what the what the deal is. Okay, so. Um, let's go over, first of all, it's recommended for the dipping paint that you, when you do the dipping process, that you let it, you know, sit overnight. It does do self-leveling, um, for it to dry. I don't even know if it says it. After drying, it says six to eight hours, but, you know, usually if I do that process without drying it with the, you know, accelerating with the heat. I will just, you know, do whatever dipping I'm doing, and then I'll just let it sit ever not overnight. So again, this is the dipping paint. I did just transfer it into this. It's the same thing, okay? So first of all, while we start doing some of the other stuff, I'm just going to dip um, a small frame for you so you could see what that looks like. So this is just the um, small LeBlanc frame. Um, let's move this out of the way. So when I do the actual dipping process, what I do is I have a catch-all. You can obviously see there's black dipping paint in there. Hi, Bernice. Hi, Carol. And then I have just a metal rod, and I'll show you what's happening. Um, also, I have a long time ago, maybe a year or so ago, I also did a video um, which is a YouTube video on, and it's on the Royal Quartz YouTube and also my YouTube channel on the dipping paints. So if the, you know, if you are interested, that video is out there as well. But of course, this one is also available replay. So I'm just going to give this a little stir. And um, then we're going to, we're going to do, go ahead and dip the just one of the frames okay so what i would do hi sandy um what i would do is again i it's exactly to what it says right it's just dipping paint so we're just going to literally dip it and then i am um, if you can see the reason why I have a catch-all, right, is because it does do the self-leveling, so all of that will drip, and then, you know, the details of the mold will come through. So I'm actually going to go like this. I'm trying not to get my hands in there. All right, so then I'm just going to let that be for a minute. I'm going to wipe the edge of my rod the steel rod, and then we're going to hang it over the plastic. Now, however you, you know, you do this particular process is totally up to you. Don't worry about getting a brush and trying to brush that off or anything like that. Um, 
Oh, thanks, Sue. So Sue actually put up the YouTube video that I did on the dipping paints. You don't need to get a brush and try to brush off the excess or anything like that. It does do self-leveling, so that's why I do this, okay? And then what I would typically do is I would just put this aside um, and, you know, color it and do all the things tomorrow. Um, so we'll let that hang and, you know, do its thing, and I'll show you because it's going to drip off the excess and all that good stuff. Hi, Jan. I have another Facebook user, so good morning. Um, it's Betty. Good morning, Betty. Okay. So let's get into the fun stuff. Let's start looking at some of these colors. So what you can do is you can use a brush and you can paint it on and then accelerate the drying time. All right. Um, just be careful. Um, you don't want to burn the product. So if you do this, you're going to want to keep that heat moving, all right? So let's get the dipping paint and kind of, I am going to put this on my desk. And let's just get a brush. I'm not going to get, uh, thank you. Good morning, Marianne. Hi, Cheryl. How's everybody doing this morning? Okay. So I am just going to use this one. Again, this is what's in this container here. Okay. So let's just go in and I'm going to take a brush and we're just going to. Now, of course, because I did this in the, um, the black resin, you, you know, you're not going to be able to tell too much, but it, it will be um, glossy. So we'll just paint a few of these really quickly. We'll dry them and then we will get to the fun stuff of using the actual chrome powders. Thank you. Hi, Mary Casey. Hi, Christina. Right, the classes are so awesome. All, you know, um, so those of you who aren't familiar with me, I do lives uh, Sunday through Friday. And um, a lot of the questions are, you know, how do you know how to use these products? How, you know, this, that, and the other. Well, I've been on the design team for the Royal Court since it started. But I love that Teresa's is doing these 101s because now there will be um, you know, a library, a video library, if you will, of all the products that um, we carry here in the U.S. for Pintart. So by the time she's done, she will have covered all the products that we carry in the U.S. for Pintart. So it's going to be a great resource, um, you know, for for anybody who's having issues or wanting to learn how to use a new product. Can you imagine some of these sitting out and you, you don't realize that they're molds? Because <laughs> they're all bugs. Um, the reason why I picked these is, number one, there's a lot of detail on them. And they're, you know, for the most part, most of these are on the smaller size. But there's a lot of detail, so you'll be able to see a lot of the chrome powder, what the detail, it, you know, all the detail it brings out. They are kind of creepy, right? <laughs> Hi, Robin. Yes, so this is the dipping paint. That's what it, so this is the same as this. I've just put it in a bigger container with a wider mouth. So that way when I'm dipping um, bigger molds, you know, because you can't always get, you know, your mold into that, that size. So, so we just dip that frame. That's what's hanging over here. And it's literally the excess is dripping off. So in that one, I would just leave and let set, let it, let it do its thing. Actually, I'm going to get some of the, 
Hold on a minute. Some of this is dripping off onto <laughs> to my the desk. Okay. So again, so this is pretty much your first step to using the chrome powders is the dipping paint, right? So you notice that I didn't get the bottoms of some of these. These are just going to be our samples, so I'm not going to I'm not going to worry, you know, about getting them too perfectly painted. So but this one here, this long, is that a fly, y'all? <laughs> when I was doing these yesterday in the black, I was like, ooh, these are kind of creepy looking. Hi, Angela. Oh, that's okay, Angela. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. So... I do want this off of me. So there, the one thing um, about the dipping paint is it's, you do, um, you know, you want to get your brush in some soapy water right away um, and get it, you know, you don't want to let that dry on your brush because it's going to be, it'll give you a run for your money to get it off. That's for sure. Okay. So now these are the whites um, and you can see. The dipping paint, it covers, you know, very well. Um, so you don't necessarily need to have the black if you don't want. I just did them kind of both ways. So I did 13, I believe, because that's as many colors as we have. So we'll get started on a couple of these. Um, I'll paint the pendants and then we'll dry them and then we'll get to the next step. So after you do your dipping paint and you dry that, the next step is going to be using your um, transparent wax paste. Okay. You have to use dipping paint or can you use another paint? Hi, Leslie. Um, I will tell you guys that, you know, I, I have used it without the dipping paint. I use it just on, um, black and I can do that with the frame. If you guys would like to see it, uh, what the different, it, what the difference is, you do want a black base, uh, but I can show you what the difference is if you use the dipping and paint and when you don't okay so all right let's get the bottoms of these painted so we'll save that frame and um just paint it with black paint and the chrome powder so you could see the difference all right okay so let's get these dry they don't the crop the chrome the dipping paint doesn't take long to dry um, this way. So I'm going to put that brush right in water. Um, just don't make it too thick. Okay. And then let's cover this up for a minute. Good morning, Kimberly. How are you? Does Troy Troy like them? I'm not sure. Are you talking about the bugs? Troy Troy doesn't. He doesn't pay no attention to what <laughs> I'm doing on my desk, Miss Betty, unless it has to do with electronics. So again, it is going to stay glossy. Okay. Um, so you just want to keep that heat moving. The dogs are going to bark for just a second. So I'm going to mute you. Sorry, they're still barking, you know. If you watch me, you know that's why I do Crafting Chaos, and that's why it's called Chaos, because usually there's a delivery happening and dogs barking or pudding time or something or another. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, so let's start. And again, so this one is dry and you can see the gloss on that. So we did these first. So let's move these over here. I think they're all pretty well. They are pretty well dry. All right. So this is um, the next step, like I said, would be your transparent wax. And the, this is where the little sponge applicators would come into play. Okay. So uh, again, I get these on Amazon. They are in my Amazon store. So we're just going to take one of these. Now, I will tell you what is the difference between regular acrylic and dipping paint. Okay, dipping paint is not an acrylic paint at all. So you wouldn't like paint something with this. So acrylic paint, and this is an actual process for the chrome powders. They're saying hi to the dogs. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you something. This is very important, okay? If you're using the chrome powders and you um, are going to start using this, because this is the next step, right? After you get your dipping paint down is the wax, transparent wax. You need very, very little wax. If you use too much, it'll do the reverse and it won't work for you. It won't stick. And I... I did this before when I these very first came out and I thought, gosh, why aren't these working for me? So I'm literally just barely going to touch my sponge in there. Okay. And I'm actually going to even wipe off on the edges because I don't want very much of that wax on there at all. Okay. So... Then what you're going to do is you're going to apply that everywhere. So your wax is what would be your bonding agent, okay, for the chrome powders. So look, that's still wet right there. There's like a little groove in there. So I'm going to tell you right off, you will have definite problems if you try to use the dipping paint and then you use the wax and you you know think you got to scoop up a bunch of wax that's not the case at all all right so maybe we need to make sure let's make sure these are dry and the little because there's so much detail on these that in the little areas here, we need to make sure it's dry. These little bugs, I'm telling y'all. So I am just going to just grab a new one. So again, I'm just going to lightly press in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna wipe off. So let's try it. He was the one I was doing, right? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I think actually it was it was the cat. All right. So again, I'm just going to do that again. Now, one thing that I do like about the black um, is, you know, when you're doing this process, I I quite like when the black shows through because it gives you your natural, um, you know, depth, your natural shadows. So, but if you wanted to cover every bit of the black, you just need to make sure, you know, you've got wax um, in all of the little crevices. Hi, April. All right. So, again, and if you miss an area when you wrote, you know, when you're putting your chrome powders on, if you miss an area or it's not sticking, you absolutely can go back in and put, you know, more wax there. Um, it's not like it's a one, you know, one shot thing. Okay. 
right? So, again, I'm not, you know, I'm just making sure. See, like all of that wax that's sitting there, that's way too much. And it might not seem that way, but it is. It's way too much. So I'm just going to use that that's there and move that around. Now, again, there's so much detail on these that I'm going to guarantee that there's going to be a lot of the black that's going to show through, but that's all right. Like I said, I kind of like that look, but total, total personal preference. Okay, so once you have a, the um, transparent wax on, you're pretty much ready um, to for your chrome powder. So let's just do a couple of the pendants as well. Again, because they're so intricate, what's happening is the wax is, you know, is building up in those areas. So don't leave it. You need to get it off of there. Even if you need to grab one of the smaller sponge applicators, the smaller sponge tips to work some of that off. Okay, so we'll do a bug. We'll do a, a pendant from the frames mold, and then we'll do the cat. All right. So I think we've got enough on there for us to see. Okay. So we've got it on those three. So let's move these over here for right now. So again, when you're doing your um, the chrome as well, you could. I'm sure you could. Hi, Mel. What makes dipping paint critical to the process? Could black? Yes, and I will show you that. Um, hi, Miriam. Hi, Joan. Hi, Miss Shauna. So you can use um, black paint as well. I will. I will show you the difference. Okay. So let's look at this. So this is ruby. One of my favorite colors is ruby. The other one is King Blue, and then I also love the Gecko Green, but you will see that these are all amazing. The color payoff, the shine on the chrome is absolutely gorgeous, okay? So because I store them upside down, I'm just going to do a little tap. Now, you might think, oh my goodness, like these containers are very small. That's not very much product. This is going to, I've had these same containers for two years, <laughs> at least two years. It's probably longer. Um, you need very little and they will last a long time. Okay. So I'm going to kind of, let's go down a size in the applicators. And so I'm just going to grab a couple of these out so that, you know, not going to really mix colors. You can if you want. Up to you. They are so much fun. So much fun. Okay, so I'm going to take a sponge applicator. I usually always work in my lid, but, you know, up to you. Again, I'm just going to get off what's in there. And then what I do is I don't go digging in there. I just tap. Okay, I just tap. You see that there's some loading on the brat on the sponge applicator. So I just tap and then come here. Come, come, come. Let's come down one more time. All right, are you ready for this? Yeah, she's here. All right, ready? Let's hold this right, Terry. Can you guys see this? Can you guys see what's happening? <laughs> so, look at that. Look at that. I mean... Yeah, but there is no words for, um, I know, Leslie, 
right, Sharon? Wow. So there are no words. Every time I use the chrome powder, it gets the same reaction that you guys just did. I just go, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Because it's there it's absolutely amazing. So this is what I was talking about. Like if you like the full color, you know, then really wiggle your sponge in there and get all of the, you know, the intricate details. But I quite like when the black comes through like that. I think it looks kind of cool. What's up with my color on my screen over here? It looks really crazy. Um, but, you know, you do you, you do whatever makes, you know, you happy if you want to cover it completely. But as you can see, there's a ton of detail in his little suit here. So I quite like, you know, being able to have like some of the, the natural shadows from the dipping paint come through. Can you guys see? Look at that. Come on. Right? So down here, it's smoother down here. I'm intentionally not doing his face. Well, let's pull out a gold or something for his face. So there is our, so that's our king blue. Okay. All right. So actually, let's take a silver. So this is silver. Um, let's do silver inside of his little suit there. So I'm just going to pull out another applicator. I'm going to get whatever is in my lid. All right. And I'm just tapping in. I don't dig in there by any means. Love it. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. All right. So let's come in here now with the silver. Oh my goodness, you guys. Every time I pull out the chrome powders, I just go, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's the same reaction every time I use them. It's just always just amazed. Okay, so I probably, I mean, we're not trying to, but I probably should have. Now, you know, if you guys watch me, you know, you know, I like to do funny things with leaving my fan on, <laughs> but don't have your fan on or, you know, sneeze or anything when you have your chrome powders open because you will you will be sad if all of that chrome powder goes blowing everywhere. So that's what we have in there. Yeah, I do too. I always like that the black, you know, goes comes shining through, but of course, like I said, like here, right? You can like wiggle in there and, you know, get more of it if you want. It's it's up to you. Now, I will tell you that because of the way that it's shaped and how it's concaved in some areas, the wax probably didn't hit a lot of those areas. So if you wanted, say you wanted that covered, all right? So you can take a little bit of your wax. Okay, again, very little amount. I'm telling you, that's the key to why if it's not sticking, it's not working for you, it's because you've got too much wax. So let's just say right here, that little area right there, it, you know, I want that covered. So I'm going to put a little bit of wax down. So it's okay for you to go back over it with the wax. And then now I'm going to take, and now it'll cover. You see? So now that little area is covered. So you can go back and put wax down if you need to. I need them all. <laughs> Thank you, April. The blue is magnificent. 
All right, so we have our silver, we have our um, king blue. How about we put, um, I don't know, let's do, so if you can see the, the chameleons, right? So there's, this one has like a blue purple. This one has like a teal purple. And this one has like a teal to it, almost a darker, darker green blue. It's not necessarily green. So let's take, I don't know, let's try and play with the, um, the midnight ocean since we have the, so as you can see, this one's white. All right. So, um, somebody is saying make his eyes blue. Let's use a tiny applicator. So this is a, a tiny one because his eyes are very tiny. I don't even know if the wax hit his eyes, but if it didn't, we know how to fix that. So I'm going to scoot this back. I'm going to go in here with the very tiny applicator and let's see. I don't know if you guys can see the color shift. So if you can see, there's like almost a purple, a purple blue happening there. Sorry, I'm blowing off because it's getting on his cheek. So if you can see, there's almost, there's a color shift that's happening in there. I don't know if you can even tell because it's such a tiny area. Okay. So, and we'll do a bigger one with that piece. All right. So that is the, um, we'll put this one over here because we'll use it, the uh, chameleons again. So that one is the king blue and the silver. Um, so let's take the gecko green and take out, I couldn't even tell you what kind of bugs these are. All right. I just know they're bugs and they look really weird. <laughs> All black. All right, so again, I'm going to get, um, so our first step, it was the wax, right, which I put them on all of them. So now let's get, and you don't have to, just because you put the wax down, you don't have to hurry up and do, you know, put the uh, chrome powder right on it. It's not like, you know, it's not going to dry up or anything because it's wax, right? So. I'm going to get some of the gecko green. Can you guys see? And look at that. And like I said, there is not one of these chrome powders where I have picked up and went, uh, I don't, that color's not, nah, no. Every one of them you'll do the same reaction as the first one you use. You'll go, oh, my goodness, because they're just amazing. I use the green and the ruby quite a bit over Christmas. These are beetles. This is the only time you guys will ever see me hold a beetle in my hand. <laughs> okay. Now I will tell you, you see that I'm oh, I'm conscious and I'm aware of holding it from underneath. Um, you are gonna want to set these with uh, our spray varnish um, because if not, you know, you will, it's wax. The, the bonding at agent is wax, right? So, you know, if you rub too much on wax, it's gonna come off and so will, in essence, the, um, the chrome powder. So what we have is the um, semi-gloss varnish mesh by Pintart, and you would just spritz these, and then it would lock it in. It locks in though, you know, the chrome powders, and that way, by touching them or doing anything to them, that chrome powder is not going to come off. But look at that green. Yes. So this is a Pintart 101. So all the products that I'm using today. <laughs> Hi, Lucia. So everything you see that I'm using is Pentart. These are Pentart rub-on pigments. This is Pentart dipping paint. 
All right. And that is the Pentart spray varnish. Okay. So that was our, that was our um, gecko green. Okay. So now let's look at, I'm telling you, Ruby is, it's also, again, all of them are amazing, but I have a couple of favorites and Ruby is one of them. So let me show you Ruby. Okay. So same process that we've been doing. We're just going to push into that chrome powder. Oh my goodness. It's just, it reminds me of, you know, like the ruby red slippers, right? Oh, I'm coming over here. You can't even see it. I forgot. I have you guys zoomed in so far. Sorry. So, again, let's get some of these details. So, and you can see, I mean, it's not very much powder. It's not very much, you know, transparent wax. So these are gonna last a very long time. Like I said, I've had these original powders I, you know what? I actually thinking about it. I think it's been three years now. Um, and it's funny because if you know me, I buy backups of everything and I've had my backups and never broke into them and used them once yet. Yes, Caroline or Carolyn. I'm sorry. Yes, you can. No, it doesn't. You just need to have um, something, you know, a varnish of some type over it. Is it your birthstone, Bernice? Aw. All right. So, I mean, just look at these three. It, I, and you, you know, you can't say, oh, my goodness, the color, color payoff on that one is better than that one or better. You know what I mean? They're all gorgeous, right? So, I am going to wipe my hands. So, what I'm going to do really quickly so I can move these off of my table, I'm going to take the, um, the Pentart Varnish Mist, and I'm just going to just give them a spritz. So I'm going to hold, I don't even know that you guys need to be in that far. So I'm going to hold, I'm, you, you can't see me. I'm way back here, and I'm just going to, that's it. Just a couple of little, you know, sprays, and that will lock it in, all right? So now I'm going to. Pick up these cutie patooties. Well, he's that, this, mm, I can't say that's a cutie patootie. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, bug. Okay. So now let's do that same process. Okay. We're going to go over again. So again, we have our dog. So we're going to come in with a little bit of wax, right? And again, I always wipe off because this is truly where you, you know, less is better. So, again, you can see where that wax is catching right there. And we need to get that out because it's too much. And then we're just going to kind of go over his face. We didn't do the face on the cat, but that's because we did the, the eyes. But we'll do something to him. We gotta make him look happy. He's kinda he's kinda looking grouchy. <laughs> so when I go into the wax, I'm just barely tapping in there. And because these two are two-sided, it might even be a good idea not to put wax on both sides so that way your other side 
can kind of be the cleanup, you know, of any place that's got heavier wax. Hi, Robin. My cute Christmas. Oh, I they would. Yes. Yeah, that would be that would be super pretty. Do these on a Christmas tree. Do the chrome powders on ornaments. Make, you know, a bunch of ornaments and do that. That would be super cute. Um, can you use beeswax? Can you use beeswax as your um your this step here? Uh, I I would assume so, yes. You just need a you know, a clear, transparent wax. Um, like I said, this is a Pentart 101. So the products that I'm showing you today are going to be Pentart products. Um, all of our products are available. Well, our products are available. Um, and the link for the retailers is in the description. If any of the retailers are here and you do have um, the chrome powders and the dipping paint available, please be sure to put in your link to your store. All right, so we have him pretty well done. Um, what is where from? Hi, Kathy. I'm not sure what you, what is where from? So I am going to tell you, you know, you y'all are asking about different products, um, different varnishes, different um, waxes. I I'm I, I'm going to tell you, I have never tested the chrome powders on beeswax. I've never checked. Uh, tra blah, 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 blah. I've never tried it out on like uh, the bare wax. Um, I've never, this is, you know, I've used these, like I said, for quite a few years and this is what I use them, how I use them. Um, they're designed to work together. So if you, you know, if you do use another wax or another, um, uh, varnish or something like that, uh, I, I'm just going to tell you, can you do it? Uh, well, of course you can, you can try anything. Will it work? I, I'm, I can't tell you that for sure. Uh, I can only tell you what I know about these products and that these work. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So if you're like, well, why isn't it, you know, why I'm doing the same steps, why isn't it working? And if you're using a different wax or something like that, that could be why I'm not sure. Awesome sauce. Kim, oh, these are from, um, these are IOD, and I got them from VintageRetailTherapy.com. Okay, so we've got our doggy dog dog. Let's grab out some other ones. Now, y'all know I'm a, I love rose gold, so we have rose gold, gold. We have dragon eye um, brass, so let's get... Fire gold, let's look at what's going, what we want together. Let's do, on him, let's do green and gold. So let's do the dragon eye. And maybe we'll mix in. Now, you guys can tell me. You guys used to tell me a couple years ago. Hi, Troy Troy. Good morning, son. Is this, it's not going to do it. Scrivious? I don't know. Trying to focus so you guys can see. I don't know, y'all. Y'all know about me and, and pronouncing names of things. Okay, so I'm going to grab out a couple more applicators. You're welcome. Happy Saturday, Deborah. Okay, so I see that our retailers that have these in stock are putting their links in. So... If you're interested, please check it out. Okay, so this is Dragon Eye, okay? So we have our wax down, same thing. Let's go in and 
telling y'all, there's never one that I'm going to pick up and go, aw, I don't like that color. <laughs> or aw, that color didn't have as what good of a payoff as the other. It's just not the case. These are all amazing. That's the mailman, y'all. All right, so this again, the dragon eye. Jack, enough. He's gone already. So, yes, it is um, 952. <laughs> 952. Okay, and then let's do his bow tie. Let's not forget his bow tie this time. And then I just did a little bit down here because it was a smooth surface. But again, you could do, you know, whatever you like. But see what I mean? I really liked how that black comes through. It just, just looks so cool. All right, so that is, let me bring you in a little bit. So that is the dragon eye. And then let's go in with, Gold. Okay, so as usual, I'm just going to tap in and okay. And he doesn't have as much shirt going on as that one did. So let's put a little bit of this gold down here, too, so you guys can see the gold. So just like at the beginning, um, when we did when I was doing the cat, if again, if there's an area where, you know, it's not sticking, there's two things that has happened. You've either got too much wax down or you don't have any wax in that area. So, you know, just go through and either, you know, take some off or add some. So that's the gold. Okay. Okay, Betty. All right. So, and then let's take one of these chameleons and we're just just for kicks so you guys can see the color let's go in and do oh i have two of these that one must not be open yep this one's open so now again let's get same thing so this is one of the three of the chameleons So this one has the color shift of a green to like a darker green. And this was, I don't, again, I don't know how the name is said. Is it Scribius? Yeah, they would. Yes. On um, dragonflies, that would be really pretty. Dragonflies, butterflies. Okay. So that's what we have for those dragon eye gold and the other color. So let's now just start taking... So this is rose gold. Let's take our rose gold, which you guys know I love rose gold in general. <laughs> Onyx. Oh my goodness, Transformers are on TV, y'all. So 
So that's rose gold. Again, the colors are all beautiful. Um, you know, if you're trying to decide which one to get, I would just, I would get, you know, whatever color you, you love to use because they're all beautiful. And I, like I said, I don't honestly believe one is better than the other as far as color payoff. So that's the rose gold. I know. On Amazon, Kathy. Okay, so that is rose gold. The next one we will pull out is magenta. So there's magenta. Very pretty. Look at that. Super bright. Um, let's get some of these done faster. So I'm going to press in a big applicator. Look at that. Good coogly moogly. I mean, holy guacamole. I don't think I use magenta enough. Because that's just gorgeous. Look at that. We use the crumb powders on the honey. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So if you are in um, Canada, Colleen also has these molds. Furniture facelifts by Kobe. Look at that, you guys. I mean, again, there is not one that, you know, is not as shiny as the next. I mean, I know. They, it's, they're amazing. Okay, so we do have, um, it looks like three colors left. So, and then what I will show you with this big mold over here, I will just show you um, what the difference is if you use just uh, acrylic black. Um, as opposed to the dipping paint. Um, this one is still doing its thing over here. So again, I wouldn't paint this or do anything with this until tomorrow. But if you wanted to dip it, that's what you would do. You would dip it and then just hang and it will do self-leveling. So you don't have to go in there with a brush and start trying to brush it all, you know, even. Um, but what reason it says dipping paint is because you know if you did want to actually dip and do the process that way you could um you know just again personal preference there's no like well why would you it's personal preference however you you know you like to use the dipping paint up to you i believe a lot of the uh tutorials that Pintart might have out there, they actually show you the dipping, you know, dipping it, that process as well. So, all right. So again, I want to get out all this excess because little goes a long way. Okay, um, so y'all, I show this at the very beginning. This is just a, it's a, a box and it has all these sponge tip applicators. It is available in my Amazon store. The link is in the disc. Oh, it's not in the description. You'll have to go to my link tree on my page. Um, so they're just sponge tip applicators. What I was saying at the beginning is similar to the applicators that you used to get it, or you, they might still have them in the drugstore, like eyeshadows. That's, you know, you just want a sponge tip applicator like that. Okay. Um, so 
but I use these. This is what I've been using. I love that it has all the different sizes. So that way, if I wanted to get into each and every little area, every crevice in these, you know, I could. But. All right. So we have our wax paste down on these three. So let's look at the last three colors. So this one is brass. I will try, try. Um, oops. That stayed on there. Hold on, Papa's. Mama's almost done. All right, so let's get the um, let's get the brass and let's do. I don't know. You guys can tell me if you guys know. Like again, this is the only time I will ever hold bugs in my hand. <laughs> Voluntarily, that is. So. This is the brass. I obviously had way too much on my applicator, so I'm just going to take what was right there on his body because that will probably go all the way for the rest of him, and it will. Okay. So that's brass. Look at that. Okay, these particular ones are not actually makeup applicators. They're just sponge tip applicators. Very cool. And then, so that's our brass. And these three are sprayed. These four are not. So now let's go in and use our fire gold. The fire gold actually reminds me of a chameleon. It it is. So the fire gold does a shift. So it does like a, a looks like a gold purple. Um so whereas to the other chameleons, the powder is white. This one is not, but this one does a shift as well. Which is very pretty. So as I turn it, I can see the purple. Onyx. Onyx, stop it. All right, so that's the fire gold. Again, that one has a shift to it. So I don't know if you can tell the purple that comes through. Yeah, they have amazing shine. That is one thing. All right, and then let's grab this guy. I don't know which one of these are open. That's why I pulled them both out. Okay, it's this one. So this one is the rainforest. Again, you can see the two colors that has that, you know, that it does the chameleon shift to. So let's get So alone, you can see that the chameleons, um, except for the fire gold, the chameleons aren't in your face bright, but they are still very pretty. Um, but see, on camera, I see a lot of the green, but as I'm sitting here, all I see is the purple, which is kind of funny. All right. So that is the rainforest. Whew. 
Crafty Jacks. If you go to um, the Royal Court, um, if you go to the link that's in the description, you will be able to see um, what, if any, retailers have them there. Yes. I know that... Um, I know that they're there. I just am not, I can't off the top. I don't know what retailers have them. Hi, Amanda. It's good to see you. How have you been? Hi, Cheryl. All right. So these three, I did the spritz too. So let's lock in these. So again, we're just going to take um the varnish mist the semi-gloss and i'm gonna come i'm holding it back close to me and i'm just gonna okay and then those are good and locked all right so a lot of you were asking you know do i have to have the dipping paint um i have used it both ways with and without the dipping paint All right, so I am going to get the Pintart acrylic paint in matte in black. So let's just paint this one really quickly. And I won't paint the whole thing. I'll just paint half of it. And I know, Papa, his mama's almost done. I knew you was going to wake up with the doggies barking and the barking. I knew it. They upterrupted your sleeping, huh? Say, Mom, what are you doing live so early? <coughs> okay, so Mad Arches in the UK does have them. Um, so you can check Mad Arches. which is Leanne. Someone just said Leanne has them, so. All right. So to save time, I'm just going to paint half of this, all right? Because you guys will get the, get the gist of what it looks like on the black and on the dipping paint. All right. Uh, uh. Clean your glasses. If you bring them to me, I can clean them for you. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, okay, hold on. Let mom put this down and then I'll clean them for you. All right, so let's dry that and clean Choi Choi Specs. I got you, baby. I got you. Hi, Trees. Thank you, Deborah. I love mixed media has them too. Okay. So if you guys check out, um, there's some resources that are being put in the comments, but also there is a link um, for the Royal Court retailers in the description. And that will work for anybody for you in the US, um, abroad, everything. So if you're trying to find um, a retailer, um, just go to the link. Oh, Troy, Troy, what did you do to these things? Just go to the link and you'll be able to find, you can do the drop down and select, you know, Pentart, LeBlanche, whatever you're looking for. All right, baby, here you go. Okay, so this is just the black. I do see there's some white spots, um, but we're not going to worry about that for right now. This is just the purpose of showing you the, so these are all done with the dipping paint. This is just black acrylic, okay? So same process. We're going to go in with our transparent wax. And again, this has a lot of intricate detail, so... I'm going to get the wax down on here first, and then I'll come and pick up the excess. I could have picked flatter molds, but, you know, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be Terry. <laughs> She's got to do things difficult. <laughs> so, again, 
This is just an example to show you, you know, how it works on the black paint as opposed to the dipping paint. Um, I have used it both ways. Hi, Jan. Yeah, you know, love a challenge, but you guys who are used to me know, you know, I never can do anything easy. It's got to always be difficult. All right. And then someone was asking, can you do it with, you know, put it on with your finger? Yeah, you can. I'm sure. Um, you know, you just, again, you don't want too much product on there. So I'm just going to come in with a clean and I'm going to get, um, yep, I bought that for you this morning, baby. And I'm going to pick up all of that excess wax because, again, too much will do the reverse. Okay. It won't, it won't stick. All right. And then I'm going to come back right here because I wiped. All right. So that's not done perfectly, but I'm already at an hour and 15 minutes practically. So I'll let you guys go after this. So let's pick up, I don't know. Let's pick up the King Blue. And I'm going to use that applicator I did. So, again, these are all dipping paint. This is just the black. Okay. So, like I said, I use it both ways. Um, I will be very honest and tell you that when I'm live, I tend to use the, um, paint just because, you know, I take an, I take a lot of time to do a project as it is. So, you know, sometimes I, I don't do the paint, the dipping paint, but, um, the dipping paint, as you can see has that gloss and pretty finish behind it because this is just matte. It does not. But let me get a little bit more of this on here and then I will hold up the cap that also has the king blue on it. You guys hear Troy Troy? He's probably like, what are you doing already on? <laughs> So this would be something that I, I mean, look how pretty that is with all of that black behind it. I love that. I think it looks beautiful, but, you know, it would be personal preference on if you wanted to cover every little bit of that. So you guys can see, I kind of tap into there and I kind of tap into the lid to press it down. So that way I'm not coming, you know, and it doesn't flake off and not wasting any product. All right. So that's what we have, again, just on the acrylic mat. Okay. So if I hold up, this was the cap that we did right? The same thing. Um, obviously, one of the big differences is the different, the dipping paint is, has that gloss to it, all right? Um, but the crumb powder is still very shiny, and it's beautiful. Uh, so, you know, um, but the, the process, the, you know, the dipping paint, that's what the dipping paint, if you're wondering what the dipping paint is for, it's for the process of the chrome powder. So, I mean, again, that's, you know, so dipping paint, right? Transparent wax, chrome powders. And then again, to lock it in, you would want to use um, the varnish mist semi-gloss. So, if you guys, you guys have pretty bit, you guys have been asking me questions throughout, but if you have any questions, um, let me know and I'll help you the best I can. Um, 
You're welcome, Julie. Yeah, it's just, again, you know, oh, I should probably leave that there. So, and again, if anybody came in late, this is also the dipping paint. I just transferred it into a bigger mouth um, container because, you know, when I do dip and I have larger molds, like this isn't going to fit in there, right? If I try to dip this frame, that's not going to fit in there. And, you know, over there it would. So, dipping paint wax, some sponge applicators, your chrome powders, and then um, uh, your spray varnish. So, and again, uh, there's 13 colors. I said that there was, there's 13 colors all together. I said that there was only three, but really fire gold is also a shift. So it's also chameleon, but um, so I will show you, put them in here. Whoop. So that's what we have. That's what we look like. So anyhow, looks like you guys are, you're so very much, you're so very much, you're so very welcome. So, um, also, uh, today I will be on Decoupage Queen at noon. I do have Lisa from Crazy Mom Creations. So, if you're not sick of seeing me, I'll be back here in two hours. Well, not here, but I'll be back on Decoupage Queen in two hours um, for creative hours. So, um, otherwise, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, if you do have any questions, you know, please let me know. Um, again, the retailer, um, to find a retailer near you, it's in the description. But I hope you have a great rest of the day, great rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Actually, that's rude. I'll go like this. Bye.